Look at this pretty little fella. <laughs> so I started this one on the 20th, so it's been like 12 days. I know it's ready because it's carbonating. This is so beautiful. It's kombucha, people. So you can see the baby scoby. And I used a baby, like a tiny, tiny one. So this is the mother and this is the baby. I know some of you guys want me to do a little workshop on this one day. And I just might. So you can see the mother is still in there. And I just rinsed, washed my hands off with some vinegar because you don't want to use like antibacterial soap. So this is the baby, the mother and the baby separated. Sometimes it'll just grow underneath it. Um, but it made two. This one's very thin, but I could give the, I could separate these and make two new batches with it or give it to a friend. You guys have so many scobies, so seriously. But this is a really healthy, beautiful scoby. So now I'm going to be recycling one of these jars that was an old kombucha jar. So I have some berries, I have some blackberries there, raspberries, strawberry. I'm going to cut up this pineapple and some mango for my second ferment. Okay, so before I jar it, I cut up my fruit and then I... I like to mash all this up, not like baby food, but I like the fruit to get, like if I were to take one out, just like kind of squeeze the juices out because it makes it ferment better. I have also discovered that the SCOBY is very sensitive to temperature. So I make sure that my fruit is room temperature, that everything stays room temperature. And that's how it carbonates so nicely, too, so. Okay, now, oh, my light just turned off. Okay, so I have the fruit at the bottom that I kind of mashed up, muddled up, took the mother out. So this was the original SCOBY I put in. And you see the baby is underneath. And I have three scobies out of one, and I'm going to pour this into this jar and do my second ferment. Ta-da! So now I can let this ferment anywhere from like two to seven days. So this isn't a proper tutorial, um, but just kind of showing you a little bit of how I do it. It's going to be so yummy. So if you're interested... And wanting to learn how to do this, let me know.